Men are allowed multiple women. Women are not allowed multiple men. If a woman has multiple men, you cannot ensure paternity. Modern science of the devil, just because we can work out how the dad is, doesn't mean the actions are acceptable. That's, in the will that's of, true. Under the word of under the will of God. I can walk and have ten I can walk and have ten wives behind me. That's sure. perfectly acceptable. Well, if a woman has ten men, it's disgusting. Absolutely vile. Yeah. Females <laughs> should not talk to any man any any man besides her brothers, her father, and the man she's with. Hmm. That's barbaric and savage. So, <laughs> it's barbaric and savage. How do you characterize that, Rotunda? Um, is that how y'all think? Is that really how y'all men think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, sis? How would you think of that clip? Sounds like the way this society thinks from what i could hear from the clip okay mary what you think it's reality <laughs> double edged sword your, like <laughs> what's your first thought on that chris uh i'm just trying to figure out what point he was trying to prove by saying all that <laughs> shan what's your first i was thought? thinking control so <laughs> so how men think i have that scrolling for a reason so what if I told you that I don't, even if the men in the comments try to pander, men feel what he was saying in that clip to some extent. Like we would say, even if a man wants to be monogamous, he would still agree with that that um, sentiment in saying women shouldn't be with multiple men and, and what, what, based on what Andrew said. Or the only men she should be interacting with are the people that are directly related to her, other than her man, her himself. And we well, don't typically have an issue with that. That's not our. That's not our problem. We don't right. have that problem. The the biggest problem is is what the the guy said from the 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 other stream thing that you put up is you guys men are attracted to women in their twenties. That that leaves a whole population of women feeling insecure for no good reason like that's the problem in society well what it is is just to break that down um if a man doesn't have children younger women would be attractive more attractive right because he wants to procreate would they be attractive or would they be an asset it's different uh, both <laughs> it, it does no 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 it doesn't yeah, because mean if that something can birth your children it'd be an asset and it'd be more attractive to you and that just because something's an asset doesn't mean that it's attractive. It just means that it is going to benefit you in the long run. And I think that most men uh, pick their spouses based off of ultimately whether or not the woman uh, is going to take care of business in case he can't. Um. No. I I do. I think and and I and I I think they do. And I don't know how many elder couples you know, but mm -hmm. when I look at a husband who's frailing or is sick or whatever the case is, and you have a conversation with him, he says he picks his wife because he knew that she was going to take care of him and take care of business. I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah, and I mean, that was it. but is that going to take care of the household? But is that a bad thing? No, is I don't, I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad. What I'm saying is I don't think men pick their spouses based look at the on, men. Look. I don't men. Men. No, look, look at Kev. I don't know Kev. The comments at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But you said my thing is you said that you feel like men pick based off of if they get sick, not well, whatever the case may be, they can take care of everything pretty much, correct? Uh, yeah. I think isn't, that they that something them as an asset. But isn't isn't that something men should be looking for? I, I think they should. I'm just saying, I think men think like that. I, I think when they're ready to settle down, they are picking their spouses, not their girlfriend, not they concubine. They're picking their spouses based off of an asset. But Whether is that no, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that oh, that's just what it is. I, okay. I, think that's I, thought, I thought you were making it like it was a bad thing. Absolutely too. not. I think it's yeah. what it is. And I and I think that's it. it and it depends on what he feels as an asset. 
if he wants a model because he thinks that the model is going to bring him glory or whatever the case is, he's going to pick the model. If he thinks that his wife is a politician, she's a successful politician, and she's going to get him contracts, whatever the case, he's going to pick his spouse based off of that. He's not going to pick his spouse based only on the fact that she can make a baby or only on the fact that um, she can, he can show her the world. <laughs> I don't think that that's why yeah. somebody picks a spouse. Yeah. And so what you're saying, it same, it sound more or less, but that's not how men think. And that's why I wanted to play that clip for you because it sounds outlandish how he delivers it, what he's saying, but men agree with what he's saying. I just use that clip because it's so you know what i mean like the stuff mm -hmm. that he's saying but like what you're saying rotonda beauty the fact that she can have a baby um respectful um agreeable those things far outweigh some of the things in what you mentioned to men and i just want to get you guys thoughts on that that when love said we are what was it like neanderthal-esque i said that was savage what he, what savage. he said savage. was savage and barbaric mm -hmm. because i want to address that because but, he said a woman should only talk to her brother or her father or her husband but what about it so she shouldn't work that's the barbaric part that's the savage part so she can't have any other relationship but the men in her family i think that's antiquated and i think that speaks to the men's insecurities because if you're so scared mm -hmm. for your wife to talk to another man whether it be at work or as a colleague or as a friend that's a problem or why are you why are you so fearful sir she can't talk oh. to anybody else she can't mm -hmm. work so here's the thing right in the west you say that mm -hmm. in the east it's completely normal that men do not talk to your wife that your wife does not so deal with other work? men so the woman so the, the woman doesn't work. work so what if i told you most men would prefer their women not to work if they I, that's what I'm going to ask you. So most, I want to see the comments for the men. So they really prefer their woman not to work so they can rely on them. I well, we're, we're, well, well, so let me just, and you guys can, I just want to give you the info, right? Mm -hmm. And then you guys can break it down. Men, oh, Mike just said it, Kevin just said it, but men are very territorial. So let me give you an, an analogy, right? I have a car, you know, those new $200,000 cars, you can if somebody breaks in it they cannot drive it right that's how the, the system works right you, key you can't jump it or what's it called hot wire you can't do any of it right but if if you saw somebody breaking in your car you know they can't take it are you still going to defend said car yes and so even if you your woman is completely loyal men in her face this and that third i mean about her it's about your territory right if another male lion comes to a male's pride, they're going to duke it out. I don't care if you try to be nice. It doesn't matter. There's only one lion in the pride. That's how men look at their women. Mm -hmm. So I know you said East versus West, but here we're, we live in the West. And so I think it's interesting how culture, some, some men in the Western culture cherry pick Eastern culture. Um, I just think it's very interesting. Number one, number two, as a, because of that love so um because of what because of women working or hey, because Asia, women can you can... read the super chat for us so i did I... hey mike I mean, it's been a while sir we are behind as a culture because of that Shout out to mike it. brown with the two dollars super chat go What's ahead up, mike it's been a while i missed you um <laughs> <laughs> so I think this it's just dangerous and I, and I think it does be insecurity so women in the west are different than women in the east and I think it's cultural and we as a western society right we can't cherry pick what we want to cherry pick based upon what we want to happen and I think that what works here works for us in the western culture we have women that are making having inventions they're working collaborative collaboratively with men they are leading i mean there's just i just think that if you relegate women just to speak to their husband or their brother or their father you are cutting off the advancement of this society i really believe that because people women in the east also can't hardly drive so do we really want that no how are you gonna drive the kids around i'm gonna wait for you to get home and drive the kids around have you been to dubai yes what's so backwards about that 
they can't the advances drive. the advances there and but you're saying like technology i mean i know i'm okay. talking about the advances the advances okay. of women huh no my bad no my, i'm oh. saying okay i see what you're saying like people right okay the advances of people and again women um they can't drive over there women can drive here women can vote here they can't vote over there so we can't cherry pick you know, pieces of that culture and bring it over here is it just doesn't fit in our society and our culture. I think it, society and this culture has benefited from women's vote, from women's rights, from women's um, inventions, hmm. all of that because they're allowed to freely congregate and walk around and be free human beings such as men. Chris, do you think that our society here is more progressive than those other societies in terms of how well we're doing? You know. Yeah, why not? Um, just in living here and traveling in general and seeing other cultures, I feel like we are behind in certain aspects. Hmm. Do you think the freedoms have hurt us or helped us in terms of all the things we can and can't do? Um, Black, I, let's, let's, both, let's... I feel like we shoot our, like, yeah, freedoms are great, but I feel like sometimes we shoot ourselves in the foot because of it. Hmm. How are our families doing, sis, with all the progression we've had, we have? Well, there's, there could be more black families. No, we're not together. Um, like we should be. So I guess we're not doing that good. <laughs> okay. I mean, I like the answer. Just honest, you know, um, mm -hmm. 